Hi everybody, Grax Domain here. Shortly after uploading my video review for the Animotion Werewolf Mask, I got a, a request by a YouTuber asking me to put on the Werewolf Mask itself and to actually show them how to put the mask on, to which I'm more than happy to oblige. Now for everyone who hasn't seen my YouTube video for the Animotion Werewolf Mask review of this little beauty right here, click on the annotation which will be roughly around its head. Watch the video and then you'll be able to see what on earth I'm talking about. Then you might even convince you to buy one of these things if you get the chance. Now for everybody else, let's get to it. So how does this mask work? How do I even put it on? As I mentioned in the review, one of the things you're going to have to do is some fine tuning and tweaking to make sure that it actually fits okay. And one of the things you could do to pad out the inside of the mask is put on these white foam pads, which they provide for you. Let me see if I can show you one. Uh, it's too dark! Oh no, oh, oh, you see that? You see that? It's black because it's been dirty with my face paint. But that's a little pad here to help pad it out. Another tip I would give would be to, what I did in my mask, is put in one of those silicon gel feet blister packs. That helps to pad it out, have pad out the inside of the mask a lot more and it adds a little bit of comfort for things like the bridge of your nose. The idea is to make it fit as snugly in your face as possible. And then it's the simplest case of just putting it on. You can see in the back that there is some Velcro. There's a Velcro strap which securely enough makes sure the mask stays on your head. So here we go. Let's get the Velcro off. Pull back the fur, and then just simply slip on the mask to your head. <laughs> now what I'm trying to do is make sure that my face and the shape of my face goes as deep into the mask as possible. So my nose is right up to the wolf's snout, and my jawline is as close to the master jawline as possible. Make sure it's nice and tight and snug as a bug in the rug. And then I'll just tighten up the Velcro at the back of my head. Velcro straps secure there. And then put on, well, fold in the fur flaps. At this point you can use a safety pin or whatever thing you like to make sure it's all secured in the back of your head. And that's it. The mask is on. And if you open your jaw, push the your jaw down with the mask's jaw to, to hinge it open. Uh, and that's it. Now, as I mentioned also in my previous video, that you can see your natural skin colour through the eye socket and through the mouth. So what I would advise at this point would be to put black face paint around your eye socket and now to try and cover up as much as possible. So now you're pretty much ready to go on the night of the town as a werewolf. One extra option would be to be obscenely hairy. Yeah! Now we're talking serious business. It also helps to have obscenely hairy feet. <laughs> 